Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, another bitterly cold night is expected. We do have a wind chill advisory in effect for the entire viewing area until 9 a.m. on Friday. And we did see a pretty decent day, though we did start out on a st extremely frigid note. 14 degrees below zero. That was the overnight low. And actually, that is tied for the record low set back in 1978. So again, 14 degrees below zero. I don't care if it was 10 degrees below zero or 14. It is still cold out there. As we're heading into the evening hours, we are going to start to see just a little bit of increasing cloud cover. And then actually that is going to decrease as we're heading into the overnight. But over the next 24 to 48 hours, as we're heading into uh, tomorrow night, we have yet another chance for some snow moving in. This is around 4 in the morning on Saturday. And then continuing as we're heading into the morning hours around noontime, uh, moving off very quickly. So right now, it looks like one, possibly up to two two inches, especially the higher amounts into southeast Iowa. So we'll keep an eye on that just in case anything else changes. Right now, eight degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport with mostly sunny skies. Winds are out of the west at six miles per hour, so not too bad as far as the winds. Uh, dew point minus six and relative humidity levels at 53 percent. A time we're coming in equally as cold, seven degrees, mostly sunny skies. Winds are out of the west at nine miles per hour, dew point minus six, and relative humidity levels at 55 percent. Uh, Macon is the only area that got into the double digits, around 11 degrees right now. Otherwise, into the single digits, seven degrees in Centerville and five in Fairfield. Factor in those winds, even though they are light, it still feels much colder out there. It feels like two degrees below zero in Kirksville. Atumwit feels like seven degrees below zero. For tonight, around six degrees below zero as the actual temperature. Winds are out of the west at five to ten miles per hour. And that again is going to make it feel anywhere from nine degrees to 15 degrees below zero. And then looking ahead for tomorrow, hey, we're going to be in the double digits. We're very excited. 14 degrees as your high. Um, southeast winds 5 to 10. Wind chill again making it feel like 7 degrees below to 20 degrees below zero. And then for tomorrow night, 5 degrees above zero. So at least we're on the positive side. We do have those about a 30 percent chance of snow moving in late. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Slightly warmer temperatures just on Saturday, though, 27 degrees with a 40% chance of snow. Three degrees Saturday night. Sunday, 13 degrees back down to five degrees below zero. 12 on Monday, Tuesday, partly sunny and 16 degrees. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. You know, it is pretty sad when... You know, we're excited <laughs> when it's in the double digits. I am excited, yes. It is sad. <laughs> yeah. And they're not getting up very warm. Not very warm oh at my. all. No, yeah. just in the upper 20s on Saturday, then back down. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, enjoy Saturday while we can. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Teresa. We'll be right back.